Hello everyone, I'm Jadeep Singh Chahal. So today with us, we've got David and Veronica. Uh, there are friends who are driving from Czech Republic onto Indonesia and then maybe Australia finally. Uh, we met them through I Overlander. We get a lot of uh, travelers who cross into India from the Vaga border, uh, Pakistan. And uh, so they've been staying with us for the last two days. And the main reason for this video is this beautifully prepared vehicle. So we'll do a quick hello with them. Hey, please wave for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll take over for the vehicle. Thank you. And I'll just cover your vehicle now. So this, what we have with us is a 2012 uh, T5 generation uh, VW transporter. Uh, they picked it as uh, an electrical service van and then converted it themselves. Uh, very appropriate size and I think this is one of the nicest done camper van builds that I've seen. A lot of inspiration to do a smaller one for us as well. So starting from the front, uh, just I'll, I'll give you a brief about the vehicle. So this has a 2 liter CRD engine. Uh, stock, it, it does like 140 horsepower. So this has a DPF delete, something we discuss about a lot in India as well. Uh, not very reliable due to the number of sensors in DPF uh, circuits. So they got that removed with, uh, with the remap. So currently it is pushing around 170, 175 horsepower. A lot of power for this kind of size and uh, happily does 120, 110 on, on the highway. Top speed, of course, with so much stuff mounted on board, they really haven't tested it. But uh, a lot of power for the size of vehicle. Uh, Tires, of course, stock wheels, and as we always discuss, probably the, the first choice for anyone traveling uh, around the world. So they've got a set of BF Goodrich KO2s. So these are roughly 30 inch tires, uh, pizza cutter spec, 235, uh, 75, 16. So uh, roughly 30 mm thinner than the ones we have on my Isuzu. And this is a Spanish brand Bravo, they've mounted a snorkel and other main upgrades on the vehicle, I'll, I'll show you, they've, they've done a Raptor liner coat, I, I'm not sure if it's very clear in the camera, but uh, neatly done and the best part is they've done most of the stuff on their own. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show, uh, the engine is, it sits pretty low so you can't really see much, but uh, this right here is very interesting. So we've been discussing uh, the the importance of you know having breathers for your uh, differentials or your uh, transmission a lot. Uh, I've been lazy. I still haven't installed my Ironman uh, breather set for the Isuzu. It's been sitting with me for over a year now. But uh, these four, uh, this is, this is a DIY set of breathers. So. This is your front diff, your rear diff, your transfer case and your transmission. So all four breathers, they've converted and they've made it at home. They've just routed the pipes and this is a simple two-wheeler fuel filter. So you definitely, you need not go for something very expensive. It is just an exchange media which has to have a filtration option and a breathing option so that the dirt from this side doesn't go on the other side. And I, I think even even I didn't know we could use a fuel filter for something like this, but uh, definitely happening on the other vehicles now. Uh, we'll go around the other side. Uh, I'll try to show you inside as well. So, so it's got a single side uh, sliding open uh, sliding door. This this window is fixed. They've got a nice big roof rack that they made aluminium sections with MS frame. Uh, this is a big uh, two and a half meter awning. They've got three big boxes to store their, uh, uh, all the fluids go in there, a lot of hardware stuff up there. Uh, they're avid uh, rock climbing people, so they've got their rock climbing hardware up there. Uh, this is all the countries they've covered. They've reached there, a lot of more flags uh, going to be added pretty soon. So. The best part that I liked about this vehicle, it's very compact. You can actually follow them on Koala Overland and uh, that's their uh, social media handles right there. So defogger on the rear uh, glasses, wipers, so pretty modern that way. Uh, 
20 liter jarika jerry can the same we see here as well that's a lockable uh, shovel see it, it, it's been used quite a lot so for people who think that you know shovels are just to make it look tough that's not the case um, it's been you put to use quite a lot that i believe is a reversing lamp up there uh, nicely mounted this david's done himself so this is a pretty neat place to mount your spare and uh, i was taking feedback from him if you know if he gets any sort of rattles or anything nothing like that as of now the mounted brake ones but they've redone it towing point uh, trailer uh, attachment so what we're trying to do is there's a lot to show in this vehicle we're covering the exterior first only then we'll go inside uh, this is their uh, the tank for uh, cooking outside this standard rotopax 20 liter these are max tracks nicely mounted on an external frame that's an ms frame with uh, the option of mounting whatever uh, wherever uh, pretty pretty neat so another thing he pointed out I'll, i'll show it to you that little hook you see there is what he uses for uh, trx exercising so it's where you have like a v shaped band and you hang off and do all sorts of body weight stuff so that's a very neat addition and this smaller looking awning is the external shower and this right here is the connection for uh, water outside uh, i forgot to cover this so this is their external power source for charging a vehicle when it is parked for a longer duration of time the that's the gas tank inlet so another another addition that i i, I like on all the vehicles so this is a very neat set of uh, rain visors and they really put them to a lot of use they've got these ventilating fans and air vents so they lower the the glass till here and the vents go on top and this window it slides open and they've put a ventilating fan in there and uh, once we go to the other side i'll show you how they have uh, a magnetic uh, mesh uh, mosquito mesh and that kind of covers the entire thing uh, you know but keeps the entire thing closed whereas you get fresh air ventilation also so if you can come this side nice big spaces on the windows as well so the i wanted to show you uh, you know i uh, sorry i forgot to mention this vehicle is a six speed uh, manual it's not an automatic and it's running an 18% shortened uh, gear ratio set as well so it's it's very capable in pulling the entire load that it's carrying and the best best part about this vehicle the what the one that i really want you to see is ah if you can bring the camera this side uh i want you to see the magic button and then we can comment on that if you can just cover that a little bit yes right there thank you so this is a uh, an all time 4x4 just like the fortuner we had discussed it's a 70 30 full time 4x4 vehicle and it has a locking rear diff that is that is my favorite part about the vehicle so uh, the the center from the transfer case automatically distributes the part to 50 50 when the front slips but once you press the the diff lock button uh, it's got a knee locker in the back so the rear locks and the center diff also locks so it does a front rear 50 50 and a rear left right 50 50 uh, that's probably the smartest kind of uh, 4x4 setup i've seen uh, at least on an overlanding vehicle so a lot of little amenities inside uh, they've got a non board compressor they've got a toggle uh, switch to turn that on they've got an air compressor they've got uh, a 5 liter tank underneath also to add the entire vehicle has uh, it's got uh, underbody protection plates all of it it's running a single uh, arb compressor as well for inflating the tires and all sorts of uh, part tool needs as well so now we uh, will quickly do a tour of the inside so the standard van it came with a, a, a two person bench on 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 the side so what they've done is they've taken this from another model of the transporter and it's got a flip seat so 
actually looks like a neat little house inside. So this mesh that you see it rolls open, it closes here. So they have fresh ventilation. Uh, if you see this, this neat little cover <coughs> uh, leads to the water tank underneath. Uh, they've got two water tanks, a 40 liter and a 30 liter tank. So one sits underneath here and that's covered with a neat protection plate. The other one is there in the cabinets. We won't really get in and, you know, dirty their home. So we'll try to stay outside. Uh, this was my question to them uh, as to what they do for drinking water. So this is a clever little piece of equipment that is able to filter around 25,000 liters of water. So this holds around 15 liters in one go. And that is what they've been using for uh, drinking purposes. So the interior is very neatly done. You've got rails on the bottom. This piece, the, you know, the table can be hooked there. As you see right now, they've got, uh, they've got a sink in the middle, a burner that side. Actually, I'll get in and I'll, I'll show it to you. Uh, I'll clean it if I get it dirty. So, <laughs> so this is the stove. So that's their stove underneath. You can take it out as well. So uh, from what they told me, they generally don't cook inside. So that is attached to the cylinder we saw outside on the van. So they'll take it out and cook on that. This is uh, the collapsible tap sink right here. And the neatest addition is this fridge. So it's a 42 liter fridge and it fits in very, very neatly. And uh, that's the internal and external temperature and uh, all the hardware that goes in, uh, all the plumbing is inside and in, is in this one. Oh yeah, that vent you see, just like the Webasto airtop we have, they've also got a diesel fired heater inside and they've got another Webasto heater, which they use to heat a secondary tank, which is a 30 liters uh, sharing tank. And all the connections and plumbing are in this area. So this area is left open for ventilation. All the electricals go in there. All the drawers you see, they're very neatly, uh, they've got these leather straps with uh, buttons so that uh, when you're driving, they don't pop open. And one thing David wanted me to show you is if you could focus on the roof. So they've got uh, <laughs> the starlight thing on the roof as well. So that's about it for the inside. We'll quickly open the rear and show you how it looks in the back. So perfect uh, usage of space. So that's their storage and it extends till here. That piece flips forward and you've got a full double bed. So almost a queen size bed, I would say. A lot of crates for storage. Ah, these are the vents I mentioned. So these are the vents that go on the, on the windows and He's got a neat audio install. It's all Hertz speakers with a JBL uh, uh, subwoofer. Retractable curtains and I think everything that you need to see in a camper is already there. Uh, that's about it. They've covered, they've been on the road for almost six months and uh, at least another uh, four to five months to go and they plan to land eventually in Australia. So they're taking a very interesting uh, way towards Indonesia. What we thought was since the Burma border was closed and you couldn't go in there, they're going to Nepal and from Nepal, they'll join a group that drives through China. And this is the first time we realized that you can actually drive through China as well. Even being as Indian uh, citizens, you can. So that opens up a lot of avenues uh, driving to, uh, you know, driving into Europe as well or going towards the Indonesian side. So maybe something we can definitely plan on exploring in the future. So that's about it, I think. Uh, if you've got any comments, questions, queries, do let me know. Thank you.